We have got two eyes to see the wonderful and beautiful world. So, we should always take care of our eyes. Any problem to the eye will cause a defect in the eye. Let us discuss some of the defects of the eye and ways to correct them. Tony and his friends were walking in a market street while Tony points to a distant restaurant. Tony is able to read all the signboards, while his friend is able to read the nearby signboard, but not the name of the distant restaurant. The ability to see the near objects clearly, but not the far objects, is called short-sightedness. The technical term for it is myopia. The image of the nearby object is formed on the retina. The image of a distant object is not formed in front of the retina, but in front of it. Myopia may arise owing to excessive curvature of the lens of the eye, or elongation of the eyeball. Myopia can be corrected by using a concave lens of suitable focal length. A concave lens of suitable focal length will bring the image back onto the retina and thus the defect is corrected. If this is what a student sitting on back bench sees, what kind of defects does he have? What must he do to correct it? Tony was able to read all the signboards, while his other friend was able to read the name of the distant restaurant, but cannot read the name on the nearby signboard. The ability to see distant objects clearly, but not the nearby objects is called long-sightedness. The technical term is hypermetropia. The image of a distant object is formed on the retina. The image of a distant object is not formed in front of the retina, but behind it. Hypermetropia may arise because the focal length of the eye lens is too long, or the eyeball becomes too small. Hypermetropia can be corrected by using a convex lens of suitable focal length. A convex lens of suitable focal length will bring the image back onto the retina and thus correct the defect. How far can an eagle see? further than a human eye can see. That's why when someone says you must have eagle eyes, they mean you can see a really long way. The power of the eyes usually decreases with aging difficulty in seeing nearby objects clearly and also distant objects distinctly is called presbyopia. This arises owing to the weakening of ciliary muscles and diminishing flexibility of the lenses. They suffer from both myopia and hypometropia. 
Sufferers from both these defects require bifocal or multifocal or varifocal lenses. A bifocal lens consists of a concave lens in the upper part and a convex lens in the lower part. This helps the wearer to see both nearby and distant objects.